In a dramatic turn of events, South Africa's political landscape is once again shaken as the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, propel the Fela Fela scandal to the nation's highest court. The Constitutional Court is now poised to become the battleground for a fierce legal contest that could redefine the boundaries of executive accountability in South Africa. The EFF, led by the fiery Julius Malima, has launched a scathing challenge against the National Assembly's dismissal of a pivotal report that hinted at President Cyril Ramaphosa's potential culpability in a controversial farm burglary. As the nation watches closely, the EFF accuses the ruling African National Congress, ANC, of deploying its parliamentary might to shield Ramaphosa, undermining the pillars of democracy. This escalating legal clash not only threatens to unravel Ramaphosa's presidency, but also casts a long shadow over South Africa's democratic institutions, setting the stage for a landmark ruling that could have profound implications for the country's political future. But before we continue, I'd like to encourage you to kindly subscribe, turn on the post notification bell to stay updated as we bring you recent happenings from the heart of South Africa. Ramaphosa is in another trouble over Fela Fela again. EFF takes legal battle to Apex Court. The Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, have escalated their legal battle over the Fela Fela farm scandal, taking the matter to the Constitutional Court. The party is challenging the National Assembly's decision to reject the Section 89 Independent Panel Report, which found that President Cyril Ramaphosa may have a case to answer regarding the controversial burglary at his Limpopo farm. Led by Julius Malima, the EFF asserts that the ruling African National Congress, ANC, has exhibited unquestioning allegiance in its attempts to shield Ramaphosa from being held accountable. The party alleges that the ANC utilized its parliamentary majority to safeguard the president, disregarding evidence and fundamental principles of transparency and answerability. The Fela Fela scandal, which came to light in June 2022, revolves around the alleged theft of a substantial sum of foreign currency from Ramaphosa's farm in 2020. Critics have accused the president of neglecting to report the crime and potentially breaching foreign exchange regulations. The scandal has underscored significant concerns about the governance and legal framework in South Africa. In their petition to the highest court, the EFF argues that the National Assembly's action undermines the credibility of South Africa's democratic establishments. The party seeks a judicial reassessment of the Assembly's decision, asserting that it was conducted in defiance of the Constitution. Conversely, the ANC asserts that the Section 89 panel's conclusions were flawed and that there is insufficient evidence implicating Ramaphosa in any misconduct. The ruling party has also criticized the EFF for exploiting the matter to destabilize the government and gain political advantage. The Constitutional Court's ruling on this issue is anticipated with keen interest, as it could establish a significant precedent concerning the division of powers between the executive and the legislature. Additionally, the outcome may hold substantial implications for President Ramaphosa's political career and the broader political landscape of South Africa. With the legal battle escalating, the persistence of the Fela Fela saga continues to overshadow Ramaphosa's presidency, with the EFF remaining resolute in their pursuit of a resolution to the case. As South Africa braces for the Constitutional Court's ruling, the stakes could not be higher. The Fela Fela scandal, which has already cast a long shadow over President Cyril Ramaphosa's tenure, now stands at the precipice of defining his political legacy. The EFF's relentless pursuit of justice in this case has not only reignited debates on executive accountability, but also exposed deep fissures within the nation's democratic fabric. As the legal drama unfolds, the question remains, will the highest court in the land affirm the sanctity of South Africa's constitutional principles, or will this be a chapter that further muddies the waters of governance in the country? Whatever the outcome, the reverberations of this decision will be felt far and wide, 
shaping the future of South African politics for years to come. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts on this unfolding saga in the comments below. Your voice matters in the conversation about our nation's future.